the difference between where we are today and, and where we were in the past is that we are actually running the software ourselves. Developers with Agile were able to do a lot of development very quickly. The problem was that they created this bottleneck into the operations team. There was quite a gulf between the teams and they had kind of different goals. So we made two, two types of changes. We went from a world where the, at the end of every sprint had a quote, potentially shippable increment to one where you deploy live at the end of every sprint. Microsoft is actually eliminate the test function. Now we're empowering developers. We're giving them control and authority over all of those parts. You develop it, you test it, you run it. If something's wrong, you have the power to fix it. It's easier to take an idea and convert that into code, get it out into production, keep iterating on it. If something goes wrong, it is considered part of the learning process and fail fast and recover from it and iterate again. Everybody's job is to ship the best product possible for our customers and whatever it takes to do that, that's what people step in and do. Operations does some development work, they do some test work. Testers do development work and operations work. Developers do all three as well. There's so many moving parts, so many opportunities for failure, and bringing sanity into that process is critical, and the operations team brings that sanity. I would say initially, uh, there was uh, a healthy kind of uh, hesitation. It's just ambiguity about what is it that I'm going to be expected to do and how do I, am I going to be successful? So we have to tell them, we are all in this together. We are going to constantly learn and adapt. So they got behind the change. The role of operations has really changed. It's become more technical for those engineers. They really are starting to become on the front line with our customers. They're really a team that's focused on the incident process. And when something goes wrong, those alerts come in and we get them routed to the right team and then work to restore it as quickly as we can. We've really broken down a lot of the silos and barriers to communication. There is a lot more empowerment and autonomy given to individual feature teams to run as fast as they want to. If they have a feature idea and it's important on the backlog, uh, they don't have to wait on another team to say yes. The funny thing is that we are at a point now where, uh, in fact, the team is asking us, how can we accelerate this change even more? 